Hello everyone! As you may know, the Cuphead DLC is coming out tomorrow and I'm super excited for it, but in the meantime I thought it would be a good idea to do one more video in the original base game. And today I added a lot of different new stuff to the game which wasn't there before. So let's start off with a charm that I modified. You may know the Twin Heart charm that adds two more hit points but slightly makes the weapon weaker but I actually negated it which means that now it actually takes two hearts from you but in exchange it actually makes your weapon stronger which means that you can beat enemies much faster now if you don't understand why that is necessary this is done as a special charm for S ranking where you have to beat the boss fast and without losing any HP so you don't need any extra HP nor do you need the two but you can use some extra time off of your run and if your damage is higher then you can finish the boss more quickly so let's do a comparison shall we let me unequip the charm and A great Let me just check how fast I can do this boss without the charm and with the charm. I won't be using any X moves so that it's fair, because those things can vary whether we use one or not. So now let's see. So now we know he died. So now let's finish off this onion here. It's up for the final boss, which is the carrot. Is done and the boss fight is over now let's see the time that we get this is without the charm so let's see how much time it took that took a minute and ten seconds now the grade doesn't matter because I didn't use any super meter to make this a fair comparison so now let me equip the charm which I made now let's see how faster can we beat this guy. April, As you can really see now we only get one hit, now but go. if we are S ranking that's all that we need. Of course I'm not S ranking right now, but this is just for comparison purposes. So there we go. Good. As you can see he's dead already, which is good. He didn't even get to finish his race. So let's end this on you next. Dude, you won't last long, buddy. Stop crying. And accept defeat. Okay, he doesn't listen to me. So I'm going to just finish all the carrots. I don't know that. The little carrots are definitely getting destroyed fast. Yeah, this guy is fast as can. As you can see, he didn't even get to do another phase. So let's see how much time that was. As you can see, we beat him faster by 10 seconds. Which may seem like not a lot, but the certain bosses during S rank, especially the aerial ones, which are really hard to beat and also take a long time, 
if you go over two minutes, you don't get the S rank, even if you did it perfectly otherwise. But with this charm, you could exchange the hit points that you don't need for a damage boost which can save your run. Now, let's continue on and let me show you some cool stuff that I added to the aerial bosses. First off is the ability to actually change the direction that you are shooting in. Now, if you don't quite understand what I'm going at, I will show you in a minute. So here's you can see he's shooting at the bar, but now if I press this button, he's going to be shooting away. This might be cool on this boss, but there's actually another boss with, where this is just a very big help because you don't get to deal with one of the most annoying things in the entire game. So let me go on over to Inkwell Isle 3 to show you what I mean exactly. So now let me go over here. Here is the Calamaria boss, which as you may know has the petrifying mechanic, which is one of the most unfair stuff in this entire game, and I really hate it, but now we actually this have a solution. Get red hot. So, first of all we have to get to that, so we have to go through phase one, which hopefully isn't a problem. I mean I can deal with this, this isn't a very big problem. Here's where the fun starts. 
So not only your first to be able to heal, but now we can actually go with Iron Man. And just hang out here. We can move her backwards, and then we're just going to hang out here with Iron Man. As you can see, no damage is being dealt to me, and I finished this phase very really quickly. Now this literally doesn't matter. Because there's not really anything that I want to show all you at this point, so I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna go ahead and finish this fight, just because why not. So there we go with the multi-directional shooting, but there's also another thing that I added for the planes and it has to do with the smoke dash charm. You do know that this is a very OP charm and on regular levels you actually get the ability to be invincible when you dash. Now unfortunately the plane levels don't have this kind of functionality because you cannot dash but I actually made it something similar when you use the mini plane for the first few seconds. So hopefully this replicates the smoke dash effect. Here's a real high class go. And begin! So let me start the boss like normal. But soon we will see how this charm is really interesting. See this like a very well, I can go through it now without taking any damage, which I normally cannot do. Same for this. Now, of course, it's not only the electric barrier you can actually go through a multitude of other things. You can also go through bombs and they won't damage you if you do. It actually damaged me, but who cares? Let's get to the other phase so I can show you some more of this. So as you can see here, if you start as using gates, well, no worries because you can now dash through them, and they aren't any problems. And neither are the shards. Dash through anything that you throws your way. Now, of course, you're not invincible forever, but you can practically be invincible in Well, I'm not going to show anything else because you guys have pretty much seen everything that there is. So yeah, that is pretty much all the modding that I have done to Cuphead for this video. Now hopefully when the DLC comes out I will do videos about it and maybe even mod it too. So if you want to see that, leave comments asking for mod ideas or anything. And I will see you in the next video.